Hello, welcome to another tonalist landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I am bringing you today is called. Hold on, it's gonna be a little pop. Hold on. Sorry. Better to get that little crick in there than all the the peas from my pronunciation popping. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone. Anyway, this painting is called Morning Lake. It's a miniature, 4x6, and I did it about, I don't know, September, October, somewhere in there. That's a nice little painting, too. I like it. Uh, not not a lot to it compositionally, but I think it's effective, and uh, it's one of those paintings where really it's the colors that are kind of making it. You have all these pretty purples and pinks and things like that and uh, based on the scene uh, from one of my travels uh, a few years back I came across this little river and um, you know I've kind of had it for a little while now and um, I'm pretty happy with this painting I'd like to uh, perhaps do it larger one day now if you hear some snoring in the background that's my little dog Denny who is um, my constant studio mate, oh, my constant companion, period. But um, when my wife's home, he's uh, he has a strong preference for her. <laughs> but other than that, if she's not around, I'm the one, I'm the man. So um, anyway, uh, today, February 7th, 2019, here we are living in the future. Um, I have not had a good week in the studio as far as getting paintings done. It's one of those, I'm sure all of you have experienced this, one of these weeks where I can't get any time to do any painting because of all the other things pulling at me and just knowing something is going to have to be done um, will many times keep me from uh, doing a painting or starting a painting. Uh, going to have an open studio event this weekend uh, which I've had to do graphics for and I put some signs out and yeah we'll see how it goes if, if you're in New Zealand if you're in Whangarei stop on by you know the be I don't know be a special time for uh, friends and uh, fans of M. Francis McCarthy so um, what did I want to talk uh, about today maybe hmm, I think I could have talked about this last week, but I could talk about this topic every week because I think it's so important. And that topic is the pursuit of excellence, you know? Mm. It's a tough one because, um, well, I do music as well as painting. And I have to say, um, they're very similar in many ways in that um, a good song is hard to do and a lot of things need to go right and a good painting is hard to do and a lot of things go got to go right. Uh, the main difference is that while you can do a song on your own, a lot of times doing music involves other people. Uh, whereas with a painting, it's, it's all you. You're the painter and you're also the editor in a sense that you're uh, sitting there and um, uh, in my case, I have paintings in the drawing rack, and uh, when I'm having coffee with my friend Joe in the morning, um, who uh, has a studio there at the quarry as well, quarry art center, by the way, um, I will spend some time looking at those paintings and uh, just kind of scanning them. And you know, every day after you do a painting and you come in, you're fresh, you get to see it fresh. Uh, while you're painting, you kind of have your own internal cheerleader, which uh, you need. Otherwise, you can't you can't really get anything done. And the internal cheerleader will say things like, "You're doing it. It's looking great." <laughs> yeah, if I, I, if I just laughing because I was imagining having an actual person there doing that. <laughs> You're doing it. It's looking great. Keep going. <laughs> anyway. Um, most of us have, have, you need to have some sort of voice like that uh, while you're working. Otherwise, um, you might get uh, dispirited or, or uh, disenchanted with the entire process. And uh, you won't, you won't, not only will you not paint, but 
you, you won't paint very often and when you do it won't be very good so you need to be able to support yourself as an artist that way um, however um, the editor is working at that time too the internal editor um, and the internal editor say oh I don't know if that's working out maybe you could do this or maybe you could do that you know but um, sometimes uh, because the cheerleader is a bit louder than the editor um, especially in those initial painting stages uh, what will happen is that you will um, perhaps have an inclination for well let's see I want to find a nice way to put it but the term that pops to mind is self-deception so you uh, you may be lying to yourself about how good this painting is um, uh, uh, about the problems the painting has and this is kind of a, just a residue from that whole cheerleader thing that was sort of the impetus to get you through so one of my um, ways of dealing with this is that you know put it in the drying area and uh, when I come in each day I'll be looking at these paintings fresh and eventually it won't take that long I'll start seeing um, if I haven't already sometimes I would be aware right after that first painting session of the challenges or problems with the particular painting I'd done but um, one thing's for sure that I'll become increasingly aware with each um, absence from the painting and then uh, coming back to the painting um, this is a phenomenon that I think well we all, I think we've all experienced and not just with paintings I mean it, it's like that with anything really I know with the music sometimes when I'm working on a mix or whatever um, I'll need, I, I definitely need a day or two away from it so that I can judge it accurately or also you might listen to it on an alternate set of speakers you know uh, things like this because you're looking for the problems that need to be addressed and you want to address them so lots of times that second painting pass will be a place where uh, I'm going to attempt to address the uh, the problems that um, made themselves apparent to me and Let's face it, part the, one of the greatest ways to become excellent as a painter or artist or musician or what have you is to really develop your internal editor and not fall into the trap of self-deception, you know. Don't let the cheerleader take over because the cheerleader is important. It helps keep you motivated, keeps you going, but... Um, there's definitely a time to put that aside and start focusing on um, if the work has problems what those problems are and what you can do to address them or in some cases uh, you might uh, this editor might just throw the whole thing out and say maybe some other time might be some other time to go after this uh, this particular scene because this sucks <laughs> so um, I just want to be one that did chat a bit about that and I think it's really important to, to develop that and to always be critical of your work while, while being supportive as well so hopefully my analogy of the editor and the cheerleader uh, maybe help you with that you know maybe not but uh, since it is such a, um, a subjective process and subjectivity is really at the core of it if you think about it because um, you know, it's like the lady that has an ugly baby. <laughs> Everyone else knows the baby's ugly, but nobody's telling her. And it's her baby, so she doesn't see it as ugly. She sees it as beautiful, you know. And in a sense, all, every painting you do is your baby. And some of them are ugly babies, you know. Maybe, too, you might be someone who's lucky to have someone in your life who... Uh, you know is on your side, but also um, will give you that uh, criticism um, with with you know patience and love uh, that uh, perhaps something's up with one of your um, your pieces of art. Uh, I don't actually have anyone like that around, but uh, I do try to be that person for other artists I know at the quarry, and I think I'm pretty well equipped to 
uh, be someone in that role since I am a caring and um, compassionate person, but I'm also not really uh, into BS or deception at all. So if something sucks and you're not my friend, I won't be saying much to you about it. I'll probably be talking to the other artists around about it when you're not around. <laughs> um, hold on, I had to close my door there. Uh, however, if you are a friend of mine, I'll tell you. I says, don't you think that looks a that looks a little weird? Don't you think? Oh, you maybe heard my dog in the background there. Um, don't you think that looks odd? Don't you think maybe that curve or that line or that, that whatever it is uh, maybe looks odd, you know? Maybe you could do this. Maybe you could do that. And, uh, ooh, sometimes that goes down fine. And then lo lots of times um, it doesn't, you know? People go, why don't you just leave? <laughs> but invariably what will happen even there is that... Uh, Next time I see the work uh, that they were working on, I'll see that they fixed it. <laughs> I have to laugh because, uh, hey, we all have egos, man, you know, and we all have to wrangle with these things. And um, I, I know, uh, well, if I had somebody, actually, in a sense, I do. I have the guy that does uh, uh, represents my art in the U.S. and. Uh, He's got a very good eye. He sees things, but he misses things too. So he's not an artist, but he is an art historian. And so he knows art, art very well. And I, I, I notice how he uh, tends to gravitate in general to my best work. But there will be exceptions, things he misses. But maybe if he was an artist, uh, he would be able to give me uh, some help and insight when he was around. I don't know. Anyway, getting kind of close to the end here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is a Thursday here in New Zealand. Um, I guess when the 7th rolls around, uh, uh, for you people on the other side of the timeline, uh, it'll be a Thursday, the 7th as well. So hopefully you're having an excellent day and um, you're, you're, you're busy doing something with your life that brings you and... Uh, the people around you happiness i'll be back real soon with another video gonna be a past masters this weekend so stay tuned for that meanwhile please take good care and stay out of trouble <laughs>